When you go to the flight radar, every plane variant seems different from what you know. There are new numbers and letters, whatever they mean, but what's their purpose? How can you use them to quickly identify plane specifications and even its history? Welcome to Flight and & Find and let's find out why these digits are very important. As you know, every plane in the world has its own name. Also, every model has its own variant code, such as the Boeing 737-800 or the Airbus A320-200. But if you research further, it becomes confusing. Various letters and numbers, purportedly representing a plane-specific variant, appear to be a chaotic mess. It seems like they don't have any effect on the plane's variant, it's just extra numbers. Well, both yes and no. I mean, it depends on the specific manufacturer. I mean, it's a bit complicated. Airplane manufacturers created these numbers to communicate more about their product without resorting to using words. Like that you can find a Boeing 737 whose full name would be 737-82 Romeo, or an Airbus A320 whose full name would be A320-212. But still, some airplanes are using words in their names, such as the Boeing 787 Dreamliner or Boeing 747 Dreamlifter. Because in my opinion it is easier to understand Boeing's special digits, let's start with them. Did you know that we call Boeing's whole product line in the 7x7 pattern just because it sounds cool? Back in the early days, Boeing decided that their jet family names should start with 700. Later, the marketing team suggested adding another 7 at the end of the plane's name. This little trick helped make the name much more memorable. And that's how we received the 707. Every Boeing plane still has these sevens in the name, but what every Boeing, and not only Boeing planes also have, it's the variant code, which is separated by the dash from the general name. In the majority of cases, there are three additional symbols, and while the first one is always the number, it shows us the plane variant. The second two characters are the customer code. It can contain both letters and numbers. With the customer code, you can see the airline that originally ordered the plane. The best thing here, that you can get to know the first airline in a specific aircraft's history without having to look up the registration code. Wikipedia's classification really helps with that. I will leave a link to it in the description. But newer Boeing planes just don't have these codes, which makes the researchers solely rely on the registration number in an attempt to find any operating history. It's just not that fun to do. Also, Boeing jets may have some additional letters. They can tell us even more about a specific variant. I think you already know most of them. They are SR, short range, LR, long range, ER, extended range, ERSF, extended range, special freighter, BDSF, BDX, special freighter, C, convertible, SCD, side cargo door, A, advanced, only for the 737-200, F, freighter, M, combi, both cargo and passengers on the deck, BCF, Boeing converted freighter, I, intercontinental, only for the 747-8, D, domestic, this applies to only certain 747s of Japan Airlines and ANA, SP, special performance, only for the Boeing 747-SP variant, SF, special freighter, and PF, package freighter. Wow. Have I missed something? Let me know in the comments. But now let's decode the Airbus variants. We all know that Airbus models have their names based on the 300 pattern. The plane maker named the Airbus A300 after its proposed capacity of 300 people. Then Airbus decided to stick with this format for the plane names to be placed in order. Similarly to Boeing, the first digit in the Airbus model code represents the variant, but the other two numbers have a slightly different meaning. The second digit represents an engine manufacturer. Airbus has six of them. Each maker has its own digit code. So a zero represents General Electric, one is CFM International, two is Pratt & Whitney, three is International Aero Engines, four is Rolls-Royce, and six, skipping the five, is linked to the Engine Alliance. Finally, the third number shows us the maximum thrust setting available for the engine options of each of the manufacturers. The higher the number, the higher the thrust metric. For example, the Airbus A330-342 has engines from Rolls-Royce with a maximum setting of 316 kN. This is higher than 310 kN of the A330-341, but lower than 310 and 334 kN of the A330-341. 43x and 344, respectively. It's important to note here that this classification applies to every model except the A300. 
The Airbus system gives us more technical information, while the Boeing's one can give us an insight into the plane's history. Which arrangement do you like more? Write in the comments, it will be very interesting to read. Similarly to Boeing, Airbus has some extra letters to add at the end of the model name. This include NX, Cabin Flex, Cabin Seat Special Arrangement to fit in as many passengers as possible, LR, Long Range, XLR, Extra Long Range, ULR, Ultra Long Range, XWB, Extra Wide Body, F, Freighter, and P2F, Passenger to Freighter. Airbus letter codes are notably simpler when compared to Boeing's ones, though. Now with all this knowledge, let's try to identify one Boeing aircraft and one Airbus aircraft. So yeah, we will use the customer code for the Boeing and the engine specification code for the Airbus. Now I'll choose the Boeing, some probably interesting Boeing, not from the US, for the operating history of it to be more interesting. Okay, let's go. Okay, <laughs> oh, what we can see, this is probably some stolen Russian 737-700 and the customer code Charlie Tango. Let's find that out. It's a WestJet. Wow, <laughs> this remote airline from Russia. It's very interesting. Okay, anyway, let's look up the registration number. 17 years. Okay, yeah, WestJet. It was in the WestJet since 2007. Okay, yeah, then it was leased. And yeah, yeah, here it was in the Yakutia Airlines up until the March of 2022 when it became, magically, became the Russian registered Boeing 737-700. Isn't that a miracle? <laughs> now let's find some random Airbus, like... Now it's a business jet, another business jet, another business jet. Okay, yeah, Airbus A320-214 of American Airlines. Let's look up the one in its name. This suggests uh, CFM International Engines. Also, it has four at the end. Then I think this is this. It has engines of 120.1 kilonewtons. It's either CFM 56 5B4 or CFM 56 5B4 slash P. <laughs> Whatever it can say to us. So yeah, as I said, Boeing customer codes are way more interesting than the Airbus codes. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show. <laughs> Today we covered some captivating aviation stuff for which most of the FGICs are too lazy to care, but we are not like them. It's important to say that every plane on flight radar is coded with IATA system. This implies that the code 73 HOTEL corresponds with the Boeing 737-800. These codes are another topic for another video, but if you found this video helpful, subscribe. This will make my day. But for now, that's all I have to say. Let me know if you want more aviation content and have a great flight.